Hi friends, welcome to Technical RPA. So this video we are going to talk about how is it possible for the RPA bot to look constantly in a folder if any new file is there or not. Suppose you have a process of your bot it has to looks like whenever the new file came you have to start the process the bot has to start once you identify the new file so this is what the process so in that case how you can achieve through blue prism in blue prism you know very well that is utility file process management is available before moving utility so this type of constantly looking folder to look into file or else new mail so in that case you have to go through with polling process looping and polling process so usually looping and pro polling process will work keep on it will check up to sleep again check up to sleep until it's find a new file this is a polling and looping looping process it goes to check then sleep it goes to check and sleep whenever you get the file it will check if it doesn't get the file it will sleep so through utility file process object you can achieve this so design your process in such a way that before your actual process or bot has to start so it has to check for the file which you are looking for and you can use as a process utility file management action file whether exist or not the object which you have to use process utility file management object so you have to check whether action file exists or not so how it will work so before your process starts you can use this action to check for file and based on the result you can proceed with your process flow if file does not exist then wait some time and then gain again you, you can check for the file you can also add as a item into queue and schedule the robot to run and free defined time there is two way the one way is you must have to use as a utility file process management the second thing is scheduler usually uh, the scheduler will work when Suppose you are scheduling as the time period 3.30 to 4, that time only it will work, other times it will not work. We have one more option is there, that is trigger, that is SQL triggers. So, so how would it, it will, the trigger you have to call inside the uh, object and once you get the file, the trigger of the SQL will call on that. That is another third way. But usually trigger will work only the SQL related options or else database related options. So what is the best way? The second thing we, we want to go with, what is the best way to implement mail monitoring? Suppose you want to monitor your mail from your mailbox. So particular mail from the client has to uh, you received or not. So this also you have to check looping and polling process. But looping and polling process here you have to use as a map map IE map IEX object. Map X object will be help to polling and checking and sleeping until it's find a mail. So it will help the map IEX has all the way. It will it will work as a inbox, unread and all the things you can do with map is 32 bit objects 
the third thing we want to discuss today how to retry a bot in case of failure suppose bot is running on it uh, i have 10 lakh records has to process on it but in the mid of that something happened application crash or something happened and bot has failure how to retry a process in blue prism see usually blue prism provide an easy way to retry a process is getting the next item on in queue there is the option is available that is getting the next item suppose your bot has failure happen in the record 1501 that is that getting next item will help you go to the move of the 1502 so here the question is blue prism does blue prism provide an easy way to retry my bot after 10 to 15 minutes in case of any failures happen let's say that a run your process it fails due to some data not being available how can i retry the process within a time period so if you adding the process into the queue to the specified tab and have the scheduler run to the get next item from the queue at a later time and x minute later in case of a failure so this is the question i have i'm reading one of the user has given this question how to retry a process i will give you the answer later for example at two o'clock and if the process fails to run at two due to some data missing we retry at 4 by deferring the queue item. However, if it succeeded at 2, it will still run on the process up to 4. Getting the next item, even though the queue is empty, if there is any easy way to retry a process in particular time. So here, the retry will help only unavailable exception types that is the main things here we have to look on it system unavailable exception types so what you mean by system unavailable when where the system is down maybe your application or your database whatever it may be your system is down so nothing is possible a system unavailable exception that is your that is the point you are going to retry you doesn't know how it has been failure how it has been failed how the bar in which stage it has been failed that is unavailable exception it is recognized when an application cannot even be restarted during a retry loop so usually you should have a retry loop with one or two times suppose the application is not available this retry will start and looping in polling and looping in one or two times so some client do not terminate the process if the system is unavailable they instead send an alert to the process controllers so usually what happened suppose the system is i'm going to um, work on sap application to the client but the bot has to vent and check sap application is not available so instead of stopping the process i am sending email alert to client hi team your sap application is not available please check and do the needful so the thing is i can send the alert to the process controls then again i am keep on trying the second time within 5 to 10 minutes of the timeline whether it is available within the timeline or not or else within 15 minutes see if it is available i am terminate the bot this is one kind of application polling logic so the decision has to be happen based on the applications unavailability so within the period of time 
so that is main thing so whenever you are going to give your decision you have to tell you have to send as a alert before before stopping or reiterating any decisions we are sending alert finally we are taking the decision as a application polling method so this is the uh, way we can we can retry a process where it has been failed using the system unavailable exception types thanks guys thanks for watching this video and we can uh, learn some new things in next video